whole uh, filter in it. Uh, we're going to be using it to uh, look at the character. What's going to happen right now before we move along? Sponge, a stock barnacle that we often see in um, in these kind of situations. God. A series of long curved spines, and it looks like one really long spine that runs upward from it. And uh, that, I, that I know we've never seen. And I uh, don't know what that. Um, yeah. Uh, so, suggested by Sarah, that's coral colony so far. Oh, it's uh, it's not. It was kind of fooling me, looking like a tripod fish in the water, but uh, but I think it's one of the rat tails or grenadiers. And uh, I'd say this coral is probably not the. And there are 10 centimeters, so the colony looks like it's about 20, about how much to take. The brittle star is, uh, also looks a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. So right now what we're looking for is to see how transparent the dollop is and um, and uh, fine needle-like uh, sclerites, which are... Yeah, so we're going to... Of course, I don't know how to focus. Yeah, I'm going to have to focus. The question is, are there eight... Uh, what we're going to do right now is take a water sample. Uh, between the tentacles. But uh, also the tissue on the polyp seems to be fairly thick as well, and you can't see through it very well. But a very high polyp is as if the uh, axis, a little crown of spiky uh, needle-like sclerites at the top, which is what got
Okay, what is the what is this particular sponge? Uh, Condolat. It have a close up of a close up uh, we'll look at the base and see if uh, yeah those look like We'll get it in for you. Thank you, Okay, just to reiterate, um, we're at Hess Rise uh, depth. Um, we've collected a piece of uh, coral. and uh, get some sense of what uh, what this might be uh, it's hard to tell from this uh, from this yeah i can't tell exactly uh, it's kind of a disorganized Anthemastis. These look different from yeah. those ones. Oh, and there maybe is a Corallian. Yeah. All right, so let's have a look at that first. Next. Very nice. Yep. Try to slurp it. Try to slurp. Yeah. And I think that one was smaller than the one we first pointed at first pointed at yeah no that's a calyptor four i think so yeah, we would like to have a look yeah. at them, yeah. uh, up here exactly. you can see that all the polyps are on one face uh facing away from us and this is a pink coral in the family Coraliidae. Uh, do we think this is Hemicorallium or? I do see. Um, that's a lot of branches, probably bigger than. I'm watching up in my room. <laughs> yeah, did you like this one? I'm gonna. Uh, she thinks that uh, wasn't a corallium, but it was Paragorgia. Really? Which means we have to get it. We haven't been able to get it yet. It's in two weeks. collected? We can't get to it yet. Okay. We're gonna look for it. Uh, thank you. I want to know when we're near the top of that high. Looks pretty flat yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And suddenly, all the corals disappeared. Oh, yeah. So, um, is there a way to? So here. Um, What's uh? Maybe. This rock looks a little unusual. Let's uh, get a closer look. Yeah, or is that just yeah? What's going on? It's just a weird angle. Yeah. Uh, 
I think that's what it was. You could see there looked like there was a wiggly worm there that leapt out as a snail. Okay. So this is a glass sponge. Very interesting architecture with these uh, spines sticking out. Just down some place. Yeah. And meters above bottom after we're leaving bottom, and we still need a sediment sample. So I just want to budget those that's in that's as we're going. Let's have a look at this sponge here. Described, but the white 